percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. Got it. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 24 Hours Crypto Escape. Right in today's video, this one's going to be a different take, and this one's going to get you thinking. Because why haven't in five years have we not heard anything? And that is in regards to reasonings why XRP will not reach triple digits. In yesterday's episode, we covered the topic of how internally I believe that there's a few handful of individuals that, you know, know the future value or how high it could go, but they don't care about the price of XRP because it's much bigger than this. This transformation is much bigger than this and the value for XRP will naturally come. Remember, the market will gravitate to the most liquid asset and the most efficient one. Let that sink in for a moment. But in today's episode, I'm going to cover a very important topic, and that is, are we wrong? And have we been being just played this whole time? And short answer, no. Okay. Five years. It's been five long years. And in that time, and this is me like creating my YouTube videos, I've watched XRP rise and fall, right? I've listened to those that make a lot of noise, the rumors. But you know what's strange? Not once, not one time has anyone reached out to tell me that this was going to fail. I mean, you know, you have the individuals that call it a scam coin, all that stuff. I'm not talking about that in regards to failing. That XRP was never going to hit 100 bucks. And they don't give me a legitimate explanation. And I gave you guys so many different perspectives. Let that sink in for a moment. Not a single person or even like a burner account. Let's just say there were people who were at Ripple so, 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 so worried about this misinformation. Me personally, I would have probably created a burner account and I would have gave some legitimate hard-hitting facts to that individual and say, hey, listen, you got to watch out. And please try to understand the only reason why I'm talking about this is because, again, when I talk about my history in the financial ecosystem a lot of people think i'm bragging now i'm not trying to brag whatsoever okay i mean i think my work and my information that i've laid out in the past four years it all speaks for itself and the way it was presented right but the thing is the only reason why i say this because i'm having worked in the industry for that long and let's say the roles were reversed and i was within ripple and i saw this going on in the ecosystem I'm telling you right now, something would have been addressed, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Like from a regulated industry perspective and being worked at the regula regulated industry for my whole life, there comes to a point where if it's so bad, it will get stopped, okay? It will get toned down. Think about that. In a world where everyone has an opinion, where people love to call out mistakes and scream about misinformation, no one has come forward to tell me I'm wrong. No one has said, hey man, XRP can't hit $100 and here's why. Like no reasonings behind it. Silence. Because here's the truth that no one wants to talk about. They don't know. They can't say with confidence that XRP won't reach that target. They can't give me the hard facts that prove this vision is doomed. And here's the thing. If I was spreading that much misinformation, if I was leading people astray, wouldn't someone, anyone have the decency, the guts to step in and say something, right? But they haven't. No one has shown up to explain, to debate, to argue. They're just all watching from the sidelines, whispering to each other, hoping that maybe just maybe I'm wrong and that will all come crashing down. But let me tell you something right now. They're all hoping in silence because they have no proof. They don't have the courage to stand up and challenge me. Because again, I wouldn't even entertain the idea because I give presentations on how the value will increase over time with legitimate reasonings. 
Do you see all these so-called experts online? You see it on Twitter, right? The ones who claim to know the future of the crypto markets like Max Kaiser, they'll tell you that they have the answer, that they can predict the next big move. And when it comes to XRP, when it comes to that $100 mark, crickets like you do understand nobody nobody is vocal as me in this whole ecosystem in regards to like xrp hitting a hundred dollars 100 percent it's like they're worried about their reputation but what are you worried about if you know 100 percent it logically makes no sense for it not to hit those numbers right it's easy to criticize in hindsight but where were they when i was talking about this years ago right where were the bold predictions then why didn't they say you're wrong and here's the proof when it all matters and that's what gets me you see if i was wrong if i was off base someone would have taken the time to stop me they would have sent me a message made a call left a comment they want to protect the community from misinformation right they want to expose the lies if that's what this is but they haven't and the silence speaks volumes and also keep in mind i'm not going to name names but there's individuals that are within Ripple, X Ripple that are, you know, see my stuff that do follow, that do engage. So, you know, if, if, if it was so wrong, don't even associate yourself with me. Now, let's talk about the XRP community. Ripplers, listen to me. I know you've been in this fight. I know you've heard it all. The hype, the FUD, the predictions. But here's what I want you to think about. If this movement was built on nothing, if XRP had no chance of reaching that $100 goal, why are we still here? Why are you still here? Because we believe in something real. We're not following blindly. We're seeing potential that others can't or won't acknowledge. And if I was wrong, you would have called me out. You would have walked away, but you didn't. Why? Because you know, I know. So let's not kid ourselves, okay? This journey has its ups and downs. The market doesn't move in you know straight lines, but we've held strong. And in five years with all the noise, all the doubts, I'm still staying here, standing here and saying XRP is gonna hit $100. And no one has able to prove me wrong. And it would have been easy for someone to prove me wrong by now, right? If the facts were there, if the evidence was undeniable, I wouldn't be here. They wouldn't, they would have stopped me in my tracks, but they didn't because they can't. And if no one's going to stop me or step up and challenge this head on, then maybe, just maybe, they know there's something more to this than they're willing to admit. It's just all noise. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But people talk a big game when they think they know the future. But when it comes down to it, all that talk is just noise. And the fact that no one's come to shut me down to explain why XRP can't reach the, its target, it tells me everything I need to know. They're uncertain, they don't have the proof, and maybe they're even scared that we're closer than they think, okay? And here's all I know, okay? XRP, XRP is not a dream, it's not a fantasy, it's a project with real utility, real potential, and we're still getting started. And until someone can show me without a shadow of doubt why this can't go to the distance, why $100 XRP is impossible, then we're still in this fight, okay? And I'll keep standing right here with the $100 sign in my hand. So to all the doubters, haters, and the experts, if you've got something to say, you've got the proof that is going to fail, that it's going to fail, you know, show it. Show it in the comments. Detail it out. We're not stopping you. XRP is not done. We're not done. And we're just getting started. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And just also keep in mind that we haven't even had those monstrous banks be announced yet right um uh two major prospects i cannot name it but hopefully you will read it in the press in the near future um <laughs> they both both of them and i was really surprised actually it's free uh, and these are real positively meant monsters of banks so we are in for a my major 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 ride and I want every single one of you guys to prepare because as you guys could see the whole presidential debate, uh, 
lead is just like cut in half almost right now. Things are drastically, you know, scaling up. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And we will be back with another video. With the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.